you have to sit for hours before you can get out? No, not really. I mean, you just gotta have an open mind and just go with it. You know, I don't yeah. think uh, trying to have all these plans in place is, is gonna help. And uh, there may be a few things you can plan for and you know, make sure you're ready. But other than that, I think you just gotta have a free open mind. Um, however it happens or whatever. Whatever ends up being the start time or whatever the delays are, you just go with it and, uh, and then I, you just want to win. So what guys, your routine's flexibility is going to have to be key? Yeah, I mean, that's uh, you know, something like this, I think. There's not much of a routine. What's it like? It's all, it's like that for everybody. So what's it like being one of the faces of this rivalry, being in the middle of this, you know, where people are saying there's hatred, there's, you know, what, the, you hate the other jersey. What's it like being... Right smack dab in the middle of it. Um, I don't know. I, I think any rivalry, you hope that uh, you know, that brings the best out in your team and you respond the right way. I think in the past we've done that, so I think uh, there should be a certain level of confidence there that that's going to be the case. But I don't think you want to get caught up thinking we'll get the team too much and getting uh, preoccupied with. I guess this hatred, so to speak. Um, you know, we got to worry about ourselves and what we have to do. And, um, that's that's the best way to prepare. But I don't think you get caught up thinking about the other team too much. And okay, you can, afford to can you just describe well the, the beginning of practice? What it was like to just get out there, and look around, and just kind of take it in? Yeah, I mean, it was it's pretty neat, especially here at home. Um, that many fans, and um, even just watching the alumni game before and things like that. It's uh, it's pretty special, and we know that not every team gets this chance, and especially to host it. So um, I think everyone just tries to take it in as much as they can. And, um, the practice was was fun. You know, we started with a bit of a game there. And, you know, that's uh, that's what it's about. So you got to work hard, but you got fun doing it. And How hard is it to focus on the game? No, it's it's not that hard. It's not that hard at all. That's why we play. So. Um, no, it's uh, it's not difficult at all, and as much fun as I mean, that's that's usually uh, the style and the type of practices we have. They're pretty upbeat. We work hard, but we enjoy doing it. So there's nothing wrong with that, and you should be able to do both. And um, nah, we did that today. So if this game for some reason does get delayed and it doesn't start until the lights have to go on here, what do you think of primetime hockey outdoors? I think it'd be great either way. I don't see anything wrong with playing underneath the lights here. I think that'd be pretty nice. So, um, whatever the scenario is, like I said, I, I think we've all got a pretty open mind to, to whatever happens, and, um, and we should all uh, we should all be enjoying ourselves no matter what the scenario. Yeah, there were delays uh, in Buffalo four years ago, three years ago. It's a little different. Yeah, I mean Buffalo was different because it was, you know, it was pretty continuous ice delays, so um, we expect that, it's just like uh, that could be the case here tomorrow, but um, with Buffalo we knew pretty much that we were going to start at that time, the weather was like it was, and I think the big, uh, big issue right there was trying to just clear the snow and maybe a few holes in the ice, but um, here's a little bit different with, uh, with rain, you don't know um, kind of what the reaction that's going to be. But, that's not gonna. That's not gonna change. So it was drizzling a little bit. Did you have any problem with it on your visor? Let's you see. No, it was there, but it just tilted off. And, you know. Did you ever play in the rain before when you were like a kid outside? Of I mean, I played street hockey, but never uh, like when we played on the lake or pond. It, it would snow, but it's usually too cold and snow was coming down. So. Um, I think everyone's ready for, for whatever comes, and it's, it's going to be okay. We've got a pretty plausible look at everything. So what are your impressions of the alumni game, just seeing Mario out there? Caulfield and, Caulfield and Buska scoring and Mario not scoring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was passing a lot, though, so he passed up a few shots. He was trying to set some guys up, so he looked really good out there. <laughs> We're not skating much. Um, Coffee looked unbelievable, too, the way he was skating. But so I think the, the best thing is just seeing all those guys together. Um, I just walked by the room when they were getting dressed and you know they don't miss a beat. You know, they, they get back together and I think they enjoy seeing one another and sharing some old stories. So I think uh, have them involved but you know just to, to see them back back together is pretty neat. Sid it's been it's been six years and more of you having these responsibilities. I don't know if it's more or less than in the first year, but obviously it's got two more questions for City guys and then we're done. How are you different at stepping back and just understanding your role in a big picture thing like this? 
Um, I don't think my looks any different as it was my first year. I know it's uh, it's part of it, and uh, if anything, I'd probably say no more than I did my first year. It's probably my most, but uh, I think if anything, uh, I still understand the importance of that. Just like I did. I think if anything, your, your experience just prepares you. There's a little bit less uh, surprises and kind of kind of ready for more more things. But uh, as far as the seriousness I take and what I do, I don't think that's that's huge. Well. Craig, Craig you, Adams said that the ice is probably going to benefit him rather than you tomorrow. If it's what things. Huh? Craig Adams said the ice is probably going to benefit someone like him more than someone like you tomorrow. For what, things. <laughs> <laughs> what, what was it like? To, <laughs> what was it like today? What would you expect if it's going to be raining? Uh, you know what? Ice in Buffalo. Um, with the snow, it was it was pretty tough. You know, with the photos, thank you. You know, with the snow, it made it pretty slow, and the puck was bouncing. So, you know, if we were able to play on that, then I think we're we're ready for for however it is. And uh, that's the way I look at it. And maybe you're gonna have to move the puck a little more, a little less stick in the I think sometimes that, that can work your way too. You might get a few bounces. So, um, if anything, I think you just gotta make sure that. Uh, that's uh, that's the way I look at it. But uh, yeah, I think if we can play on that, then we'll be ready for whoever comes. So how do you do it when Last you one? said that you know you don't think about the opponent wins the Capitals and think about yourselves? But how does the, how do you let yourself not think about the opponent and not think about number eight over there? Yeah, I mean you think about. The other team, obviously, when you're preparing for them. In, but uh, I mean, a different way. Yeah. Right? So, I think, it, you know what, that's the great thing about a rivalry is you don't have to think about it. It's just like you, you go out there and the intensity is there, the emotion is there. And it's just a natural thing to, to happen. I mean, everyone's game is uh, intense and physical. And it's just uh, something that comes pretty easy. So I think when you get in those games, you expect to be like that. You expect a lot of yourself. And, uh, just have those expectations and be a tough game, so uh, that usually brings out the best. You know, and like I said, I've seen that uh, for a number of years. We've had some close games with the playoffs and all those things combined. Uh, I think that's, that's the expectation. Thank you, Sydney. Thank you, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you.